All right, we had to stop for a minute because of a customer. Imagine that. Dag, nebbit. Man, that's great. <laughs> that is great. Um, yeah, so the, the bright, we were talking about kind of yeah. the grassy flavor that you're not crazy about. And that's It's funny because that's kind of the exactly what I go, you know, when we made the Pilgrim's Muse, that's kind of what I was going for there is almost that hay flavor. Of course, that has a little Latakia in it. So, which I liked. Which, which you did like. But you, you typically prefer something more robust, mm -hmm. kind of smoky, yeah. uh, heavier on the Latakia. And you like the Turkish tobacco, Love the too. Turkish, yeah. You kind of have that woody flavor. almost. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, I like the campfire mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But this is really good, and I'm remembering Mer many, many good times with Meriwether. Yep, yep. Meriwether was named after Meriwether Lewis, who was of Lewis and Clark fame. And I don't know why Mrs. Reeves, uh, who founded our shop, liked him so much, but she wanted to name a tobacco after him. Uh -huh. That's where that came from. And he is from Charlottesville, Virginia. Is that right? And there was a big statue of him down right before you get to the downtown mall in Charlottesville. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Mary Charlottesville Weather. is where UVA is. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I have a question. I have a Possibly false answer. Okay, well, it's a false question. So, okay, my question is this is not your personal blend. That's right? correct. You did not make it. That's correct. And yet you felt like you wanted to showcase it. So, my question is do you feel differently about your own blends than you do about the ones that have been here for a while? You know, or yes, yes, and no. Like that, there are some that like I really, really, just kind of have this um, connection with because they were so formative in my own pipe smoking kind of start. Like um, Meriwether, Meriwether, Cherokee, love Cherokee, Flambeau, um, to some extent Hunting Creek. Um, you know, those are those are tobaccos that were kind of important to my own pipe smoking development. Um, that's really interesting. But then as I kind of figure out what I like and then I start to develop my own tobaccos, you know, there is kind of a partiality towards them as well. Because um, you're making them to suit you. Some of them. I mean, yeah, a lot of them, yes. The ones, we make some that I know will appeal to other folks even though it might not be my favorite. I mean, Well, that makes sense, and yeah. That, and, right, I mean, that would make sense. We, we make some that... Um, you know, maybe are a little heavier on the Latakia, or in the other direction are a lot sweeter in the aromatic realm that I just, you know, wouldn't particularly prefer, but... Um, like the uh, Blue Ribbon? I like the Blue Ribbon. I, I do think, too. Yeah, I really I like too. the Blue Ribbon. I think maybe the Summer Breeze, or... Um, Did you make Summer Breeze? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Um, Saratoga is another one that we have that you know we sell a lot of and is a very high quality tobacco, but mm -hmm. it's a little too sweet for me. So I like Saratoga. Yeah, and see, that's the thing. And I don't love sweet blends, but mm -hmm. or maybe I need to try it again, actually, because I haven't tried it in a while. Your taste could change. They it do could. do all. Yep. Do all. Hey, come on in, man. Hey. Who's that? I'll be right back. What can I get for you? So. Oh, tap black. Yeah. Another customer. Let me get this thing relit. So the thing about Meriwether, now it's just me, is um. Oh yeah. Is that it's just an all-around tobacco, and it has a pleasant room note. I'm getting there. I can't see them. Anyway, they're around the corner. Um, there we go. Talent. So, the thing I like about it is there's no real tongue bite, and it um, the room note is pleasant, but not overpowering. Uh, I like the um, Pilgrim's Muse because it is so Virginia. I don't think I would go to it, even though I enjoyed it. You know, it's like eating a dish that you enjoy it for what it is, but you wouldn't order it. But I really like the Meriwether because it's it's gentle. But still really tobacco-y. So I like that. 
Uh, Derek, you would like it. Um, Gentleman Jim, you would like it. Michigan Piper, you would like it. I think everybody would like it. Uh, Hermanos del Beso, you would like it. Te gusta? I can't keep it lit, not because of the tobacco, because of me. So it usually stays lit. This is a good one to keep lit. And I would um, smoke it out with my students sometimes. And, you know, it's a pleasant, I was telling them, it's a pleasant tobacco, but it's not, the room note is very neutral. It is neutral. You can tell someone is smoking a pipe, like not a cigarette, but it's, there's no real boom to it. It's not like you're all of a sudden getting, uh, you know, vanilla. Right, or, right, right, right. You know, cherry. It's just like a nice, pleasant tobacco smell. So I really like that about it. Mm -hmm. um, I like Merriweather too because the, it burns down to a really fine ash. Mm. Um, it's nice because I just helped that customer and came back and my pipe was still lit. <laughs> wow. Um, a lot of times you don't see that. Right. Um, it's a good tobacco. Yeah. It is. Mm -hmm. It is. I'm trying to think of some more about it. But tell me about the, um, the Blue Ribbon. Does it have a high nicotine? It, blue Ribbon does have a lot of burley in it. Okay. And burley is typically, burley is actually the same, well, they use a lot of burley in cigarette blends. Right. Uh, of course, burleys in pipe tobacco don't have any kind of additive or right. anything like that. So, Evil. Um, all that stuff. But yeah, um, but yeah burley is higher in, in nicotine. Because yeah. I had a little bit of a buzz. Mm -hmm. And then what I read somewhere on some forum or I don't think it was YouTube is that chocolate will bring you back to reality if you have um, tobacco overdone. Really? Chocolate. I didn't know that. I didn't know it either. You know, I've heard of people using dark chocolate to cleanse your palate uh, kind of after, you know, you smoke a pipe and um, also people using Altoids and stuff. I don't know. but um, Really? That's interesting. Well, and I'm going to try it because I'm kind of a lightweight with nicotine because mm -hmm. I've never been a cigarette smoker. Mm -hmm. And so uh, when it hits me, it hits me. But do you inhale your pipe? I do not. Yeah. So I do not. You're not supposed to inhale your pipe. We have some right. folks that do. But, the, but they're probably former cigarette smokers. A lot of them are. Yeah. yeah. And typically the smoke's just a little too heavy to, uh, to pull in. Yeah. It, when yeah. you do pull it in, even if it's by accident, there's a discomfort there that, um, right, right. you know, you can kind of, kind of feel it. Yeah. yeah. So no, I don't inhale it. So it was interesting. I'd never heard that before. Yeah, yeah. Burley does. Uh, Virginia's particularly the. Um, um, I guess it's the yellow Virginia's. I'm trying to remember. A lot of times these things get get lost back there in the crag of the old brain. But um, yeah, I think typically the yellow Virginia's have a lot of tobacco too. Yellow Virginia's also because they're uh, sweeter, naturally sweet. They tend to burn a little hotter on your tongue, so you're more prone to get tongue bite. Um, this. The Merriweather is toned down with enough other stuff that even though you get some of that, it's um, not quite as uh, not quite as rough on your tongue. Yeah. yeah, I never get tongue bite with this. I like it a lot. Well, we're live. No, we're not. But we're here at the <laughs> Country <recording>. Squire. <laughs> and we are alive. That's right. As of this recording. That's right. And um, another Tuesday pipe chat with John David and myself. So, uh... <laughs> You guys, like this video, share it, do whatever you want to. I'm going to put it on the Country Squires uh, Facebook page if I can. But I have a question for you. Yeah, man. You're, I want to have a Country Squire YouTube channel. Right. I don't want to have it. I want you to have it. Okay. Uh, so we need to work on that. Because I, I want these videos to go on there, and then you can make your own when you're just sitting here when we're just talking when to I'm people. Hanging out. Yeah. yeah. Put them on there. And these guys would like to see all that. But you have to do it. But I have to do it. You have to do it. That's the key. That is the key. All right. That's We're going to do it. We're going to do it. No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> waka waka. <laughs> he might. Anyway, okay. This is Butch and? I'm John David. All right, you guys. Take care. Y'all have a good day.